All right, so in this video, I want to try to do something that will be not something you will probably commonly do, but let's say I want to be able to just go to this page and click on this next button. And that takes us to this next page. And then I want to go click on the next button again. And I want to keep doing this until I go through all the pages. So the reason you probably wouldn't do this that often is because most of the time when you look at your paths, see how it says like page three HTML. And then if I go to the previous, that's page two. And then we have page one. So you usually use that URL structure to do this instead of actually clicking on the next. But let's assume there is no URL structure you can trust and you just have to keep clicking next to keep going to the next page. And we want to keep doing this. So right now, if I click on page 50, see, that would be the last page here. See, there is no next to click on at that point. So let's see how we can do this. So first we need to go to this. Well, actually, before we do that, let's actually understand what we're going to use for this. So what we're going to use, we're going to use a while loop. And the way while loop works is that you have this while statement. And inside of this parentheses, you're going to pass a condition. So you're going to just check if something is true or false. So for example, if you have an X variable here, you could say while X equals to one and do whatever you're going to have to do inside of here. And in this case, because X is one and it's always one, it's going to keep doing this forever and it's never going to stop. So usually you want to do something here in a while loop to make sure you have some sort of exit strategy. And in our case, the exit strategy is going to be when there is no more next button to click, let's not keep clicking on this. So let's try to just put some basic puppeteer starting point. I'm not going to use this. Let's just open one of the more basic ones. And again, I'll just clean this up. So basically all we have, we just require puppeteer. We start a browser, we start a page and we go to this main page. Now on that page, we need to make sure we're clicking on that next button. Now let's go find what the selector is. So the next button, which seems to be this one, see has a class next. And let's see if there is anything else to make sure we narrow down on the right thing. Maybe this pager. So let's go pager next, the hyperlink. So here we'll do pager space dot next and a for the hyperlink. And we'll just await for this. Let's just check and make sure this actually works so far. So again, I need to run this file that I called next page. So that's node next page JS. So that did go to page two. So now we need to go to the next page. So First of all, what I want to do, I want to make sure that before I go to the page, I want to check if this button is even available before I click on it. So to do that, let's just go and check the dollar method they have and see what it returns when you do that. Let's open their docs. See if I go page and look at their methods. See this dollar selector, which basically gets you the first one. So we only need one next button. If no element matches the selector, the return value resolves to null. So basically, if it doesn't find it, it's going to say null as a return. Based on that, let's do this. Let's do a wait page dot that dollar. And as a selector, we're going to use the same selector. So if it's not available, this is going to return null. So 
the null should evaluate to false. So let's try to see if a wait will work inside of a while statement like this. So I'm going to say while this, basically, if it's not null, it's going to return something. So that will evaluate to true. But if it doesn't find anything, this will give us null. So I'm going to say while this, let's do this. Let's see what happens when we try that. I have a feeling something is going to go wrong here. So I'm going to save that and try to run this. Well, maybe my feeling was wrong because this is working pretty well so far. Unless it doesn't stop. And it did stop. See, it went to the page 50 and we're done because we weren't able to find the actual thing in here and we stopped. Very good. So that actually worked out right inside of while statement. So this, if it's null, basically it evaluates to false and then it doesn't do anything. Otherwise we have this. So you could obviously do more things here. You could go to the page and do something and then go to the next page. You could have more lines here where you're extracting more information or you're getting some whatever you have to do, right? But this just shows you how we can just navigate through that pagination they have. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.